Do you want to update your hub? Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. Today we're going to be showing how you can update your Hubitat firmware so you keep your hub up to date with all the fixes and all the features that the Hubitat team keeps adding into this platform. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that you're going to get a notification like this. If you click it, you're going to see that it says platform update available. So we can click it there and go directly to the update. But before we do that, it is good to reboot your hub before updating your firmware. So let's go first into the settings option. Then click on the reboot hub. Click OK. And now your hub is going to reboot. So we just need to wait for it to come back online and then we perform the update. Okay, so my hub came back online already, so we have to go back in and enter our credentials. So just put your credentials and click login as usual. Now we have rebooted our hub and we still have that notification. So let's go straight to it. Click on the notification and then click on the available part of the platform update available. After you click it, you're going to be brought to this page where you can see what are the changes to this new version. You're going to see the new version and the version you currently have. And again, the changes from the previous version. You can read it as you like. After you're done, you just go ahead and click on the update hub. You're going to be brought to this terms of service page where you have to click agree. After you click agree, the download is going to start you just wait for the download to complete and after the download finishes it's gonna start processing the file and examining it and then it's gonna install it there you see it's verifying the download sometimes this process is pretty fast and other times it takes a little bit longer so just be patient and keep waiting at some point it's gonna finish that verification is going to install the new version and the hub is going to reboot again and load the new version so you can see now it's extracting the update and as you can see now it's applying the update after the update is applied the hub is going to reboot by itself and then it's going to come back into the login page where you have to put your credentials again and log back in and then you are good to go there you see the hub is rebooting already it's initializing you see the percentage there when you're doing this please make sure that you do not unplug your hub or drop the internet connection make sure that this process goes all the way through without turning your hub off inadvertently, pulling the plug, or disconnecting from the internet. There you have it, 100% already. The page is refreshing again like it's gonna finish the reboot. And there you have it, you're back into the login page. You just put your credentials again, click login. And then you're back. You no longer have that notification because you just installed the latest version for your hub. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please the like button and subscribe to my channel. And please make sure that you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Again, thank you for watching and see you next time.